I enjoyed my work because uh, my work outcome can benefit the rest of society. My uncle was in the National Academy of uh, Math Institute, and uh, he was in the same group of the top mathematicians of China. But I decided I don't want to make it as my career, because by observing him, I don't want to be that nerdy. <laughs> On the fifth grade uh, summer break, I read uh, two biographies. One was uh, Thomas Edison, the other is uh, Albert Einstein. My favor goes with uh, Thomas Edison. On the seventh grade, I watched a movie talking about Russian uh, rocket scientist, scientist who launched a Sputnik. And by that time, I knew that I want to be a scientist or engineer. I'm working on technology development for hydrogen isotope separation. So I view this as the jewel of the crown because the isotope, by definition, they are almost similar in physical and the chemical properties. So if they can isolate or separate isotopes, then one can do everything else much easier. Over 40% of my inventions are commercialized, and it feels good about it, and that is a really a rewarding feeling when you know that uh, the work we do here can benefit uh, uh, other people's everyday life. As a scientist or engineer, we always want to do something better than others, and we try to figure out the things that other people uh, have not uh, figured out yet. And uh, one of the things currently we are working on is uh, really a challenge. That is called water detradiation. The last technology was developed in the 70s, and we haven't seen any breakthrough technologies in 40 years. And right now we are working on it. We realize that there is a challenge. We uh, may or may not uh, make it, but uh, I will feel uh, thrilled if we could, uh, uh, the team, we can figure out uh, how to do that. What I feel is that the National Lab has a very unique opportunities and uh, it's combined both the benefit of industry and uh, academia. For example, I can work anything of my interest by writing a DOE proposals and work on something that's just like a faculty member. But also National Lab provides an ample amount of funding, so like industry. So I combine the best of the two different categories right here. Science is to discover what works. And you can fail 99% of the time, only, you only need 1% of success. And the engineer is actually, most of the work is to figure out what would not work. Because the engineer is based on the science discovery, we already know something works. But we want to make a useful product for the society. We have to figure out what is the side effects and what will be the long-term drawbacks so one engineer figure out all those little trivial things, then it's become a pro perfect product. <laughs>